Well, there it is, all the way in. It uh, was just bound up. It wasn't going on the wrong side of that one, that's what I thought. It just was bound up. It actually had solder all over it. It was probably kind of stuck to the plastic. Once I got it opened up, got my flathead in there, and I could move it. I had to move it two or three times. Still not easy to get in and out of there. Get that to work. It doesn't get bumped every time I touch everything. But it uh, comes out really easy. But it kind of wants to, well, it did want to fight. Now it's, and believe it or not, the springs on both sides still work. But it doesn't really want to go in there straight anymore. Yeah, it's coming up and out of there now. very flexible now I mean the uh, well it's not real flexible I mean when I try to try to force it to go down in there I don't know that it's making all three contacts though it's making two of them I can see that but now I'm really getting hungry anyway I don't feel so great now it's hot out here. It was uh, 79, almost 80 in my room. That's one reason why I thought, well, heck, it'd be cooler out in the garage. But now, after all the bees and having, oh, uh, I'm standing over this candle. I put it. It's not really helping. It doesn't have to be that close to me. I was breathing that stuff. <coughs> Darn citronella, it's bad. It makes you. Usually, I, if I'm breathing much of it, I cough real quick and I know it. <coughs> I just now realized I was breathing a little of it. The bees keep coming, a little, little. I had one or two more come in the last 20 to 10 minutes. But right now, there's not one in here. But, uh, so. I don't know if I saved it or not, but I certainly tried, didn't I? What a mess. I don't like giving up on things. Uh, I know I won't. Well, if I, you know, to get another one, I'm not going to go get it. I don't hardly drive. I'd have to order it. And I really hate spending money when I don't have to, too. don't have lots of money to spend. Very little. So, I can't see it. Uh, I bet when I watch the video, I can tell that I've learned from these videos that came apart. I can tell that uh, you can probably see it way better in the video than I can see it. But it goes all the way in now. But I don't know exactly what contact. I'll have to get my, multi I can get my multimeter out, but I can do that inside. But I'm going to take a bath, get this poison off me kind of kind of sticky and sweaty now it's been cold this is February of course this is North Texas and our weather does that it has for years now but uh, it's it supposed to have been you know it was supposed to have been 89 today I forgot I actually thought to my, it was 130 when I came out and I thought well I don't want to stay out very long because I don't want to be out here when it's 90 degrees it feels pretty warm right now I don't have to wait to see what the temperature is well guess I do with my phone. What is that? Oh, it's what I'm making the videos on, and the battery's about to go down. So, there we go. There's my mess, soldering mess. Sometimes it's not such a good idea to uh, film your actions and your projects, is it? Wish I could have shot all those bees. That would have been more interesting than this, wouldn't it? The attack of the killer bees on the soldering guy. Alright, let's go on. Bye-bye.